The Portland Police and the Multnomah County Sheriff's Office announced that they plan to boost public safety efforts around Election Day, and they are working with their partners around a plan to not see a repeat of what we saw happen back in 2016. Tonight, our Fox 12's John Hendricks reports. These were the days following the 2016 presidential election. Across the city of Portland, thousands of dollars in damage, hundreds if not thousands of people taking to the streets not happy with the outcome. For several days in November 2016, the Rose City was filled with demonstrations and riots. One of the issues that we had in 2016 early on was people taking over freeways and bridges and, and activity that it was really unsafe. In an effort to prevent that this election, Portland Police and the Multnomah County Sheriff's Office are working on a plan now. They say Portlanders can expect to see an increased police presence in neighborhoods, at ballot drop box sites, and they add they will be ready to react to any demonstrations that may pop up. PPB says that they will not tolerate people lighting fires, blocking traffic, and damaging property or any other sort of violence. There's no problem with coming out and expressing yourself. But what we do ask is that we that we follow the law. You know, First Amendment rights stop at when you start violating the criminal law. The downtown core does look a lot different than it did four years ago. Businesses here have been boarded up for months to protect and cover up damage from nightly demonstrations and riots. Unfortunately, the last week was pretty rough. Stacy Gibson has felt the impact of what has been happening in downtown. Nobody's coming downtown right now. And that's really what it comes down to. As we prepare for November and the election results, um, I mean, we just don't know what's going to happen. Just Sunday, she says the glass on the front door of the subway she owns was apparently shot out. Fortunately, it was late at night. There wasn't anybody in the store. Nobody was hurt. Months and months of frustration and worry over safety have been running through her mind. Now she, along with other business owners, prepare for the unknown of election night. A plan by law enforcement doesn't ease her concerns. I have no faith at this point, and that's scary for me because I always try to be a positive person, um, but I, I'm... I'm just broken. For her and others, they may soon be leaving downtown Portland, saying all of this is just becoming too much. Reporting from Portland, John Hendricks, Fox 12, Oregon.